Hello, I am Laurie Duncan and this is a Rude Group podcast. Tune in. So, topic of conversation today is a second home. A second home, baby. And I'm not talking about your buy to let stuff, um, any other investments, any flips or any commercial assets or anything like that. I am talking about maybe a place up north or at the lakes, next to a lock in the mountains. Maybe a place in Spain. And uh, all of the above are on the radar for me now, which is super cool. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm looking at getting a place up in Aviemore and uh, a place over in Murcia. In fact, Rude, I've got some cool plans uh, for the, the Murcia thing. We will bring that to you soon. But uh, yeah, having somewhere that you can just go, get away from it all, but still do a bit of work. But you're just living in this different place, different maybe culture, different things to do, different things to see. The thing I like about Avi Moore is uh, there's, I feel like there's quite a lot going on. You know, you've got that kind of main street <coughs> where uh, Grampian Road it's called. And off that, you've got loads of kind of bars, restaurants, places to hang out. And But, you know, you also get the weather. But you, you get the weather in the winter in terms of all the snow, a lot of skiing, snowboarding and all that goes on up there. And uh, you also get the weather in the, the summer when it's nice. It's proper nice. There's beer gardens. Um, we go up quite a lot, actually. In fact, I'm going up next week, uh, which will be cool. Um, and, you know, it's just a really cool place to go. And the, the Spain idea... I mean, you can buy a place in Spain now for like a couple of hundred grand, you know, two bed. I mean, you can buy for less than that if you wanted, but uh, you can definitely buy in Spain now for a couple of hundred grand. And like, how much are flights to Spain? I don't know, like a couple of hundred quid return, something like that. Um, it'd be really cool to have this to have this other place uh, that you can just go. Or other places, as I say, they're both on the radar for me. But definitely, you know, that is something that I will obtain in my life. And I'm not talking about in the, you know, in the, the far away future, the distant future. I'm talking about sometime soon, in the next year or two. I'll definitely have at least one of them in the next year or two. Probably leaning more towards Avimo, because as you will know, if you've been following my socials, uh, I'm in the middle of building this big outhouse uh, in my garden where I sauna, steam room, a uh, hot tub, an ice bath, <coughs> um, whatever else I'm putting in there. I mean, I don't think there's much I'm not putting in there. Workout area, another kitchen, living area. And uh, we decided to lump a bit of cash into that first before we went for the second home. Just because, you know, you're at your house every day, you'll use that kind of stuff uh, every day. You don't need to travel for it. Um, and obviously with a, a second home, you do need to travel. You know, you need to drive maybe a couple of hours or you need to fly maybe a couple of hours or whatever. Um, but how cool would that be, man? How cool would that be in life to have this big outhouse with a spa where you can go every day and then maybe one weekend you want to nip up north and chill out and maybe in the winter time you want to go and get some snow one week and then the next week, you know, you're away to Spain, chill out by the pool. Awesome, man. Awesome. I think life's too short to not have that kind of shit in your life. Like, I need that, you know. I can't go through life not having all that available to me, you know. So, I guess now, you know, um, I am focused on building something that creates the financial freedom and flexibility to allow us to, to you know, to get into a position where we can buy something like that. And, um, and it's cool. So, uh, that's my thoughts on a second home. I must have one. What do you think about second homes? If you've got a view about second homes, Write in the comments and make sure you subscribe. If you've not subscribed, sort that out, baby. Um, so, any comments, always welcome. I am Laurie Duncan. This is a Rude Group podcast, and I cannot wait to catch up with you again soon. Cheers.